Hey guys, welcome back to the Cult Classic Kids Show, and today I wanted to talk about Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather lately, so if I sound really terrible, please excuse the sound, but when I have been up to playing some video games, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl has been the game I've been playing, and honestly I've been having some decent fun. Now I'm sure a lot of people are going to write this game off as though it's just a Smash Bros. clone, and to be fair, it is a Smash Bros. clone. And the game itself definitely doesn't have the best animations, it definitely doesn't have the best visuals, but one thing I can definitely give it is that the developers of this game know what they're doing in terms of making a Smash Bros. game. I'm sure that they really do love Smash Bros. over there. They understand the mechanics of a game like this, they understand what makes Smash Bros. tick, what makes it a good game, and honestly, they also understand what would probably make Smash Bros. a better game in terms of mechanics and gameplay. They also understand why other Smash Bros. clones have failed, like PlayStation All-Stars. I think the best thing I could say about the game is that the online is actually pretty good. This game supports rollback netcode, and that is something that Smash Bros. still needs to this very day. A lot of people who enjoy competition have jumped to this game specifically because of that, and that's really not something to take lightly here. Now the gameplay that I'm showing is pretty early footage of me first starting the game and I'm basically learning the mechanics and how things work, but this game is actually really fast. It is Smash Bros. Melee fast, which is pretty dope, a lot of people have been asking for that, and developers of this game gave it to them. The sad thing is I think Nickelodeon thought this game would absolutely fail, and it feels as though they really didn't put that much money into the game. But where the game shines is that the developers seem to know what they're doing and they probably worked with so little to get this game out, which is kind of sad. And there's a lot of different um, examples that seem to point to this. The fact that it seems to be hard to get a physical copy of this game, so probably the production of the game is low. The game launched on a sale price. So yeah, I think the sale price might still be up, so if you want to check that out. But also the fact that the game doesn't have voice acting. Now it has a announcer, but it doesn't really go further than that. None of the characters that are fighting actually have voices. Now personally, the lack of voice acting doesn't really bother me very much because just thinking of Spongebob screaming every time he gets the shit kicked out of him would be highly annoying, but I know this could definitely affect how people view the game in general. But it seems as though developers are making it quite clear that with support to this game, it will get better over time, which is definitely a cool thing. I do hope that the game does well so that we can see a better game in the long term because it seems as though they have to earn the respect of the people, the purchase of the people in order to get uh, things rolling more. And I think that um, this will actually work out because it seems as though competitive play for this game is kicking up. People are interested in playing it competitively which is awesome. I definitely want to see that. One issue that's seriously worth noting that I do hope gets addressed is the fact that you can't cross-play with any other platforms. So even if I'm on the PS5, I can't play with my friend on the PS4. So that was really disappointing and I hope it does get addressed. By far though, the absolute highlight of this game is without a doubt the roster. If you've been a fan of Nickelodeon at any particular point, in Nickelodeon's existence, there is somebody here for you to play, which is awesome. You're playing as people like Leonardo and Michelangelo and April O'Neil from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're playing as Invader Zim. You're playing as SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy from SpongeBob SquarePants. You're playing one of the characters from Really Real Monsters. You're playing Reptar from Rugrats. Apparently a couple of characters from a show called Loud House, I believe. Danny Phantom, Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold, Ren and Stimpy, Powdered Toast Man, Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender, Korra, Nigel Thornberry from The Wild Thornberries, Cat Dog. Overall, pretty solid cast so far, and the way you think that these characters would play is the way that they play. It's pretty funny, some of them, honestly. Like, Helga will pull out her... Arnold Lockett smacks someone with it. <laughs> it's just a, it, it is definitely very, very cool. And they do intend on releasing more characters in DLC. And I'm really hoping to see some characters from like Rocket Power. Um, even though I'm not a fan of Jimmy Neutron, because obviously he's a very important part of Nickelodeon for a very long time. But also the Fairy Odd Parents. 
that would be awesome. Give me Timmy Turner. Uh, give me Vicky. Just a few of those characters would be awesome, too. You could definitely throw Arnold and Gerald from Hey Arnold in there. Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life is definitely a must. Quail Man from Doug. The Angry Beavers. Oh god, I just thought about Dora the Explorer being in there. Yikes. But yeah, guys, this has been my first thoughts about Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. I've been having some fun with it. I think it's pretty cool. It's awesome that it is available on more than just a Nintendo Switch, unlike uh, Super Smash Bros. So yeah, this is definitely a cool game if you're into the properties that are presented or if you got kids and they like Spongebob and you also like like really old school Nickelodeon and stuff like that. It's definitely a fun game to play together with family, friends, especially if you're having a house party. So you don't have to pull out your Switch for a house party. But yeah, guys, I'm really wishing the best for these developers. They seem to have put out a pretty decent product so far. I hope it continues to even get better as time goes on. If you can, uh, like this video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for talking with me. You can follow me over on Twitter if you want to continue the conversation. And with all that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.